The following commercial is a production and property of WDDK-FM, Dockwater 3.9, Greensboro, Georgia. Lake Hits, Dock 103.9, Lake Area's number one station. That's Elton John and Daniel. Beatles right before that. I want to hold your hand. We're at 10 after 3 on a Thursday, Super Thursday. Chip Linus along with co-host Louie Heron of Louie Heron Toyota. And uh, Louie, welcome back, man. Chip, what's going on? Rain. We've had some rain since we've talked last. That's a good thing. Um, you sound upbeat and energetic. It's rubbing off here. Well, that's good. That's good. We want to talk to you about several things. First, theautoschool.com. We pushed that uh, <coughs> last couple times. But, Louie, if they want uh, just uh, not to get a big sales pitch, they just sure. want some information, that's the place to well, go. Well, I'll tell you, if you're, if you're listening right now, you know, we've been doing this now, Chip, for almost uh, a month and a half. And, and sometimes I think folks that are listening from 3 to 5 on – Super Thursday, you, you may not be in the market for a car, but here's the deal. At some point, you may pop in the market, and so that's what the auto school is all about. If you go to theautoschool.com, all that is is a comprehensive website that I developed probably four and a half, five years ago. It's how to buy a car. It has nothing to do with Toyota or Honda or any manufacturer. It's everything and everything you need to know about car buying. So any questions you may have, and, and you know, Chip, as we you and I discuss all the time, the car business it's such an intriguing business. It's like everybody wants to know, you know, uh, when I buy a car, I want to make sure that I don't get hurt. I want to make sure that I get a great deal. I want to make sure that I don't pay too much. And, and I think everybody really feels like the dealer should make money. They don't have a problem with you making money, but they want you to make it fairly, squarely, and make sure it's a good deal for everybody. So I believe the auto school, <clears throat> excuse me, dot com is a great source for anybody. There's all kinds of sites and links, television shows, radio shows, full length that you and I are doing in between breaks. But I actually have up to 30 uh, TV and radio shows that are 30 minutes straight of just all the information that we're talking about. Women in car buying and, and auto loans and uh, calculators and hybrid information, fuel economy information. All the rebates that are available are published for every brand and every manufacturer. So there's no reason that you can go in and buy a car and not be educated and not know where you stand. All right. Very good. <clears throat> tell you, Louie, I was thinking about this last night. You tell me if this is the truth or not. We've, uh, or I've always heard two best times to buy a car, end of the model year and end of the calendar year. And end of October, November, we're kind of coming right into the middle of both of those. Exactly. So, so is now the best time to buy? It's funny that you ask that question because what we're going to talk about today is the we're going to pose the question is that really real or is that really true or is that really a fact in the car business and we've got several questions some people have have emailed me at l heron at com with questions i've taken some of those and so we'll start off with your question i guess so the question is is the end of the month truly the best time to buy a car is the end of the year the best time is that real or is that just something everyone buys into is that the question let's put the truth a meter to it, Louis, put it, put that, it that is the question <laughs> put it right to it here's the deal at the end of the day the car dealers have the most sense of urgency at month end i don't care if it's january i don't care if it's may or december and the reason why is because the manufacturer they have goals to hit just like the dealers do so they amp up things as the months going on if we're tracking well the incentives and rebates and contests and things that we have in place they kind of just stay the same however if it's been slow if it hasn't been as expected by the brand or the dealer Everybody starts tying up the urgency. It really starts heating up. Now, does that mean you can't get a good deal at the beginning of the month? Here's the crazy part, Chip. The beginning of the month, guess what the dealers know? The dealers know that the perception is the customers know the end of the month is a time to buy. So if you walk in to the uh, dealership the 1st through the 10th, oh, my goodness, we have almost reverse psychology. We, we know that if we don't capture some deals early in the month, we're held hostage to month-end close. And if it doesn't pan out for us, our month is shot. So to answer your question, Yes, a great time to buy is at the end of the month, no doubt. But I would not think that you couldn't get a great deal on the third of the month because typically everyone takes a big breath and just kind of exhale at the end of the month. Everyone's run hard. Customers have come in. And that first and that first through the seventh, everyone's kind of, you know. So there are some good deals to be had. And the reality is a dealer will take a deal on the third just as fast as he'll take a short deal on the 30th. Yeah. The difference being is – Everything comes to a close, and we run out of month on that 27th, 29th, 30th, 31st of the month. So I would say, yes, it's a great time. Month end typically is where the deals really get sweet, but I don't think that you need to overlook the fact that the 1st through the 15th, you can still get a great deal. Now let's go to, to year end. 
what people say, hey, I'm waiting till I'm waiting till December. You know, I'm waiting till Toyota Thon. I'm the reality is where that urgency kicks in is we have twelve models coming in the dealership now. We have elevens on the ground. So as the turn of the year goes by, the black books, the NADA, the books drop on all those values on the pre owned cars as well as the new cars. So yes, year end is a fantastic time to buy. No doubt about it. And and again, go back to the incentives. Everyone's trying to hit their number. Uh, Toyota, Honda, General Motors, Ford, they, they all want to be the number one nameplate. So they all are pushing and pushing and pushing, and that's why you hear that climax. End of the year, the 26th, December 26th through January 2nd, it is an absolute frenzy. And I'll tell you, Chip, the month of December for most dealers, typically really, really slow. People are planning vacations and Christmas time and family mm-hmm. coming in and going out. So they're doing other things, especially right around uh, it's about the 7th through the 15th, 7th through the 19th. Man, it is it is a tough time for dealers. It's a great time to get a deal, though, because yeah. we're looking for any deal at that I time. But the 26th through the through January 2nd, it's absolutely wide open. And, 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 and again, the one thing customers need to know, uh, how that benefits them is if the dealers are knocking down 50, 60 deals in the last 10 days of the month, we look at averages. Most dealers look at averages. They don't look at this deal, that deal. So if we've gobbled up 30 or 40 car deals, Chip, and somebody comes in with a deal that we look at that's kind of, as we call in the industry, ridiculous, you know, like, man, I would never take. You know what? If the averages look like you can take that deal and keep on going, we're going to take the deal. So you. there is some merits to what you're saying. And if I had to answer the question, is end of the month or is the end of the year uh uh, the best time to buy a car, I would hate to admit yes, but I would have to tell you probably yes. Yeah, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're not getting a great deal at another time. No, that. but I'll tell you this. Here's what you need to do if you're listening right now. If you don't wait till month end, circumstance arises that you need to do a deal on the 11th because it's convenient for you. You walk into the, if you're listening to me now, walk into the dealerships. Hey, I know that you guys typically make all the deals at month end. If you want a deal today, yeah. I can work. So I'm willing to buy something, yeah. but you better make it sweet. And I promise you the dealer will... They'll get their pencil sharp. They'll make it work for you. And I, I could see, too, if you come in beginning or middle of the month, you might get a little bit perhaps better customer service just because the salespeople has a little more time. You, they can answer Absolute, questions. Absolutely. Yes. The last 10 days of the month, the last five days of the month, They're you're coming flying. You're coming into a bunch of chaos. A bunch of deals are going on. So you may not get attended to as fast as you thought you should. You may not get out of the dealership. There are a lot of things as we do studies. People can't stand to negotiate. They can't stand to go back and forth. They don't want to be at the dealership five hours, Chip. If you don't want to be in there five hours, uh, the, the last time, the end of the month, you're going to be in there a little longer because there's a lot of deals going on. I so. So I hope that answers your question, and I guess when we come back from the break, uh, we're going to continue with these questions, Chip, and I've got some good ones, and we'll, uh, if you want to c- catch us on the next break, the next question will be, is it real that I can drive as many miles as I want on a lease and not have to pay a penalty? You'll be surprised at the answer. Very good. All right, Louie Heron of LouieHeronToyota.com and Louis Heron Toyota in Milledgeville. 18 after 3, 72 degrees. We've got the Rascals and Groovin' next on the dock.